Hey, what's going on guys? And today we have a pretty cool video where we're going to be taking a look at some starter houses and Minecraft decorations that you possibly could incorporate into those starter houses. So the way this video is going to work now, please let me explain this before you guys want to skip what I'm saying or something because it kind of explains how this video is going to work. So number one, first, the first half of the video, we're going to take a look at the top five Minecraft starter houses or five of the Minecraft starter houses. So that's going to be the first half of the video. Then the other half of the video we're going to take a look at all the decorations that you possibly could incorporate into those starter houses which is pretty cool so you're probably seeing two times on the screen right now so for example if you only want to see the decorations then go ahead and skip to that time on the screen but if you're only here to see the starter houses then it's about to start here shortly but if you're here to see both then feel free to watch the whole entire video but hopefully guys with watching this video you can find yourself a brand new minecraft starter house and some pretty cool decorations to go into that that starter house so without further ado let's go ahead and check out 10 minecraft starter houses and decorations first up we have a desert house look at this house just just look at it i'm pretty sure you guys are looking at it but really open your eyes and look at this house it's absolutely beautiful and it's a desert house i don't see people creating desert houses very often so this one's really unique and really cool and i loved i loved adding this into the list so let's go ahead and take a look at a tutorial on how to build this thing now these tutorials that we're going to do are very very quick if you guys get lost or anything like that one thing i would suggest doing is number one re winding it a little bit or number two slowing the video down i'm sure you guys know how to do that you can slow the video down or speed it up possibly slow it down a lot it would probably probably help you if you're trying to build this house while watching the video or if that's not enough there's also links to tutorials in the description that are longer they're like 20 15 20 minute tutorials on how to build these houses but as you can see we're pretty far into building this house already and where i think we're about to do the carpet section of the house which was kind of tricky because you can't actually do floating carpet within a house so what i did is if you saw in the beginning i actually used grass so that's kind of how i made the carpet float which is pretty cool and then around the sides i used strings so you can see with the grass the carpet is allowed to flow and i figured it made a nice kind of touch to the house and you know just grass was off the house i don't know it i don't know i just thought it looked really really nice and then here you're gonna see in a second wait for it there you go we are using string right now to make the uh to make the carpet on the sides because um if you didn't use the grass or the string or anything like that then the carpet would not be held up and it just I don't know it just it just wouldn't be there so i think we're about to do the interior actually we're going to do one more thing we're going to do the windows of the house i didn't want to do normal glass windows on a desert house i just feel like that would look weird so i kind of made them with staircases and slabs i figured it looked pretty cool so here we have the interior of the house pretty simple now the interior i did not try hard on the interior as you can see if you guys want to do better interior of course you can but here we have a tree house would you look at this tree house just just look at it open your eyes and look at this tree house it is absolutely gorgeous and it's very simple it has only a few amount of resources to create now of course you don't have to use these exact resources you don't have to use the same wood you don't have to use the same tree you don't have to use the same uh stone bricks you can use like cobblestone or really whatever floats your boat but right now we're making the bottom of the house which was really simple and easy to make and this house is actually um it's not super roomy but it's it's really nice because I mean it's a tree house this would be a nice addition not only a starter house but it would be a nice addition to like a second home so like if you had a main home you know kind of to the side like a big mansion or a bigger house and this was kind of like your fun little tree house this would be pretty cool but right now we're making the side windows which are pretty sweet and I believe here in a second we're going to be creating the roof I'm so excited actually the patios first patio oh now we're on the roof so here is the roof of the house super simple so we have two layers of steps and then we're going to kind of cover that up really simple and really easy so here is the patio and i believe in a second we're going to be placing fences there we go around the patio so no one falls off this tree house you're definitely going to need some type of fence uh <laughs> because you don't want people falling off and then i actually switched this because i thought it was really awkward so i switched it to the other side uh or to the other yeah to the uh left side of the tree but then we have the double chest on the roof of the house and then we're going to cover this up with slabs 
and so yeah you have a, you have a lot of storage and the chests are above you so it gives you a lot more room and then we have the beds the furnace crafting table really simple and re really easy to do now this part right here is optional you do not have to do this but it does add a nice touch to the house so what i did here is i just used uh stone bricks uh stone bricks staircases uh basically and it's it's really simple like you just place them we place them uh on the outside of the house under and above and just do the same thing for both sides super simple and super easy so next we have the compact house as you can see super compact and super easy to make it might look might look a little bit hard but it's it's really easy guys and this house is awesome because it has a ton of storage it has everything you need and it's just super simple compact and a perfect starter house so once you build your eight of these little beams we're going to grab some staircases now you don't have to use uh these staircases up uh up and down uh you can use like just normal blocks if you wanted to but it looks it puts a really nice touch if you use the staircases on the side so now we're already <laughs> we've already done the floor and now we're moving on to the roof like i said guys if you guys are lost or this tutorial or these tutorials are too fast then feel free to slow down the video or possibly rewind it but yeah there now we're done with the roof here and i believe we're about to do the flower portion yeah the flower uh, portion on the back the back kind of window of the house which is pretty sweet now keep in mind guys you can add more windows to this house you don't have to have just this one window if you wanted to open up more windows on the sides of the house then you could indeed do so but that would kind of eliminate your room for like the chest and all that stuff like if you wanted to open up a window like above like the crafting table and uh not the crafting table with the uh enchantment table and the anvil then indeed you could do so but um yeah i just think it looks really good like this absolutely beautiful beautiful house Next, we have a simple kind of cabin, I guess you could say. It looks kind of like a cabin. Really sweet. Now, the only problem is I built this cabin in the middle of the plain. So, it kind of looks bad. But it would look a lot better if you put it on, like, the side of a river or something like that. I feel like that would look really cool. But this one is super simple and super easy to make. All these, honestly, all these houses, they're about the same difficulty of creating them. They're all, like... They're all just about the same. They're, <laughs> they're all pretty equal when it comes to the difficulty of creating them and the resources that you're trying to obtain to create them. So now we're actually creating the side windows of the house, which are pretty sweet. And now we're doing the roof of the house. We're gonna have two like layers of staircases and then that top like middle layer, I believe we did slabs. We'll see that being done here in a second. But this one is really cool. I really like this one. Now, of course you don't have to use this wood. You don't have to use this dark wood. You can use any type of wood you desire corresponding kind of to the biome, I guess you could say. So for example, if you were in like a, I, I don't know, another biome, you could use a different type of wood or something like that. But there we have the patio done and here's the inside so we have two double chests under our bed so we're saving some space here and we're have we're sleeping and we're sleeping on all our items and we're saving a lot of space which is pretty cool so you don't have to add that little thing right there it's just for decoration of course and here we have the gravel pathway also you don't necessarily have to use gravel use any block of your desire and then we have a little light outside the house which puts a really puts a really nice touch to the outside of the house um i would recommend adding more lights though because it's going to get pretty dark i believe i added one more in the back but we're about to place a map right there so we can kind of see the outside of our world and there we go how cool is that so this one oh my gosh would you look at this this is a modern starter house a modern starter house yes a modern starter house now this one is absolutely beautiful and it's super simple to make it might look a little bit hard the only hard thing about creating this house is getting the resources i would say which is actually honestly is not that hard because if you think about it you see we have a lot of quartz here and getting this house would actually benefit you building this house would actually benefit you if you're in survival mode because getting all these quartz would give you a ton of xp which would benefit you you know uh, <laughs> so you don't necessarily have to use all these stone bricks uh you can use cobblestone or anything like that or you don't even have to use the quartz you can use whatever you desire wood cobblestone you name it but i just believe the quartz and the stone bricks look really good and make this house uh, like a really nice modern touch so it's super simple to make guys this, this house is just so easy i cannot stress enough um we also have have like redstone lamps i believe i'm about to do that yeah there we go redstone lamps under the glass windows which is pretty cool then we put some leaves right in front of it so it kind of covers it up and puts a nice addition to the house so right now we're finishing up the walls of the house and we're putting redstone lamps under all the windows which is really cool and really lights up the house without taking up any room since they are in the ground so then we have leaves going around the house and then we have this cool kind of design you don't have to do this little design that we have right here but 
I don't know. I just think it looks really, really cool. So we're about to travel into the house and do the inside. So we have some furnaces. We're going to place a crafting table with a pot and a dead bush, which puts a little, little nice addition. Of course, you don't have to do that. But then we have beds and our chests. And then here we have our map to finish it off. How this works is it's a command block command. There's no mods, no texture packs, no special textures, anything like that. I'm in complete vanilla Minecraft. The only thing I have installed right now is uh, the faithful texture pack, which has nothing to do with this command. But anyways, once you have your command, post it in the uh, command block, for example, the one I have behind me, and then have some type of a redstone device like a pressure plate that activates the command block. And then after that... I didn't paste the command yet. Okay, there. Now it's paste. But after that's done, go ahead and step on the <laughs> command block. And you can see this giant machine, this giant box of command blocks generating. You're probably like, unspeakable. what is this? This is way too confusing. But don't worry, my friends. You don't have to do anything with this. You're done. You're done. All, all your things are generated. So now what you're going to do is, well, the first thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the elevated flower pot, which is pretty cool. So you're going to need four sticks and one flower pot. So once you grab them, throw down your flower pot and then the four sticks and you should get, oh, I got to maybe throw them a little closer to each other. There we go. The elevated flower pot and it's kind of like a spawn egg. So once you grab that, you want to go over to where you're going to place these elevated flower pots. I'm, for example, going to place them on the outside of my treehouse. So I'm actually going to extend this a little bit about right here just for demonstrations. But we can place it about right here and you can see we have ourselves an elevated flower pot. So now you can grab yourself some flowers and place them within the flower pot, which is pretty cool. So there we go. That is awesome. That is so cool. And you can also place more. So for example, if you wanted to like I don't know, maybe like extend this thing out and you wanted to do more flower pots so you could do, oh no, that didn't work. So we'll place a flower right there, a flower right there, and let's pick another one. Let's go for the daisy. How about that? Does that one fit? Yeah, of course. So pretty much all the flowers fit, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Oh, there we go. These things are absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like uh, from the other side. So let's go ahead and see what they look like from the other side. Oh my gosh, they look so cool. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. So I actually want to build them kind of on like... Um, kind of like a pole, I guess you could say. Let's see how this goes. So here's what I meant by putting the flowers kind of on a pole. It looks really awesome, and it would go really great in your Minecraft garden or outside of your house or possibly like I did on the side of my treehouse. So I'm here at my desert kind of, uh, I guess you could say, vacation home, and I want to improve these cactuses. I think they're just lame, boring. I mean, who wants a boring cactus they're, they're just so lame so i'm going to improve them so let's go ahead and grab a couple pieces of cactus i think i need about six so we'll uh that's three right there and then we'll take another one down and i think we might need uh six more in order to create the second cactus all right so let's go ahead and throw down six pieces of cactus so one two three four five six and then we have ooh a cactus plant i don't know if it um i don't know how many times it lasts in survival mode so we're going to create two of them so for example if we take one and then we use one it does go away but there is our oh my gosh there there is our improved cactus our fancy cactus plant how cool is that so let's go ahead and replace one of uh, these cactus right here so we'll go ahead and oh it looks so sweet so once we destroy this one we'll have enough to make another one so one two three four five six and then boom, we have another cactus plant. So we'll go ahead and place that right there. And let's see. Oh, I think our house looks a lot better now with our fancy little cactus. I love our tree house and everything. It's absolutely beautiful, but we need something at the bottom of this tree house. We just need something to fill up this bottom space as it's just so boring. So how about a hammock? Let's go ahead and take three black banners and four sticks. We're gonna throw them out and then we should get a hammock spawning egg, which is pretty sweet. So this is going to give us our hammock. So where should I put this? Um, I'm thinking, hmm, let me, let me see here, let me see. Let me see from the front a little bit. Uh, what about right over here? So we're going to place it down. And oops, that's actually the wrong way. Uh, okay, so yeah. I kind of messed up the bottom of my treehouse. I figured out that they only spawn one way, unfortunately. But once you have it down, you have yourself a hammock. How cool is that? So we can actually click on it and sit on it. 
Oh, would you look at that? We have ourselves a hammock to, I don't, I don't know what's going on with my head right now, but we have ourselves a hammock to chill and relax on. I love our treehouse and everything now, but the inside needs a little more. We only have a bed, a crafting table, and a furnace, and nothing over here. So how about a really cool chair? Let's go ahead and throw down a wooden pressure plate and two ladders, and we're going to get the special chair. La -dee -da -da. So let's go ahead and spawn in. Ooh. Why? I'm sorry, villager, but we have a custom chair now. I'll put another one down right here. So one for me and one for my friends to sit in. And let's go ahead and sit in it. And boom, would you look at that? We have ourselves a special chair. It kind of looks like one of those uh, movie director chairs. That's what it kind of reminds me of. But it's really comfy. Really comfy and really nice addition and decoration to your house. The desert house looks amazing, but it's so dry here in the desert. So we need some we need some water bottles, but not just normal water bottles. We need super fancy ones. Go ahead and throw down a lily pad and a bottle of water. And then we get the water bottle, but it's not just a normal water bottle. It's super fancy. So we actually place it down. I'm actually going to go inside because I don't want to leave my water bottle outside. But we'll place it ah, about right here in the corner. And you can see we have a little fancy kind of water bottle it has a lily pad and a cobweb at the bottom but i'm sorry i think they look a lot better in the water in the river or something like that i don't know they just look really cool so let's go ahead and place a couple more here you can see we have these just floating water bottles on lily pads that's just so cool so decorative and these would look really cool if you had i don't know maybe like a river next to your house or well our desert house is right there, so I guess it's pretty close to our house. But if you have, like, a little pond in your house or, like, outside on your garden or something like that, this will make a really good addition to your garden. Um, possibly, maybe, like, your garden farm, like, your wheat farm or sugarcane farm or something like that. That would be pretty sweet. But I really really like these so if you guys have stuck around to the end of this video that means you get a bonus one so this one's pretty sweet so we're going to take a oak wood and an iron axe and we're going to combine them and we get a log but it's not just any log it's a special log by the way i'm here at my beautiful cabin unfortunately not by a river but maybe they'll Maybe a river will grow here one day, but if we take this, we can go ahead and place it. I'm going to place it about right here, but we get a custom kind of oak wood log with an iron axe in it. How cool is that? So it's kind of like we were chopping some wood and it just got stuck, just got stuck there. So let's see how it looks if we, I don't know, maybe remove one of these and place it like right. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Oh, no, it's kind of, it's kind of glitching out. Okay. So if we remove both of these and like, I don't know, put them right here or something, they're they're glitching out okay so uh they're a little bit glitchy but they're pretty sweet and a very nice addition to my cabin all right guys so i want to thank you guys all so much for watching hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video now i do want to say if you enjoy videos like this like these top 10 top cool kind of like videos i have a playlist link in the description at the top towards the top of the description full of I think it's like a hundred I want to say a hundred plus videos that are just like this like it's insane I have a ton of awesome content like this on my channel so feel free to click that subscribe button to be notified when my next video is live I'm mumbling up my words here because I'm trying to talk fast but I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video of course let me know in the comment section below which number one which one was your favorite house and number two which one was your favorite decoration? If you have multiples, then feel free to comment. But let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later in another Minecraft video.